This video is brought to you by Cybersalt's Joomla training cohort. Learn to do Joomla the way Cybersalt does Joomla. And MySites.Guru. Do you have a Joomla site? Of course you do. Get a free site audit at MySites.Guru. Let's take a look at the file and database changes that Migrate Me 4 makes when it creates the test area for your Joomla 4 migration. After you have run Migrate Me 4 and uh, you're all ready to log into your test area, some things have already happened in your web hosting account. First of all, in the web space, a folder called MM4 has been created. That's where Migrate Me 4 has copied your, all of the files for your Joomla 3 site into that subfolder so they're separate from your live site while you're doing your testing. Likewise, in the database that runs your Joomla site, all of the tables are copied and then uh, they are given a name mm4 underscore as a prefix. So you see here, uh, J-O-S-T-R is the prefix for the live site. And down alphabetically after J, we see mm4 underscore. So all of your tables have been copied as well. So this protects your live site from anything uh, being changed when you are working on your site. Now, of course, if your uh, live site prefix begins with a letter after MM, um, MM4, then uh, you will see the MM4 tables first. Now, why is this important? Well, first of all, your uh, migration test area is separate from your live site. So as soon as any changes you make in your migration test area, they are not affecting anything on the live site. This also means that any changes on your live site is not being care is not being done, say content wise, in your migration area. And when your migration area is ready to push live, you'll wipe out anything on your live site. So you need to keep that in mind as far as the time frame of how active your live site is and the migration work that you're doing. The other difference that it makes is that uh, having MM4 folder in your live site can make your site backups very large depending on the tool that you're using. So let's take a look at how to uh, mitigate that using one of the most popular or the most popular backup tool for Joomla, and that is Akiba. If we go into Akiba backup, you can see in the configuration area for this profile, uh, down at the bottom, two things, files and directories exclusion and a database tables exclusion. So now if we click on files and directory exclusions, and there's some sort of dark mode screen happening on my on my website here so we can only see the folders when we mouse over we want to scroll down and find the mm4 folder and then we're just going to say hey akiba when you're backing up the live site don't back up the mm4 folder you don't need a backup uh, you don't need a copy of your site that you're working on in your backup especially if your site is large and in that way you will exclude it Likewise, you can go back into the database tables exclusion area, and then you can find all of the tables that start with underscore MM4, and just go down and you can select and say, hey, I don't need those tables backed up. Now for me, it's a bit fiddly. I usually just exclude the folder and I just let the database go in there. Most of the databases for the sites I'm working on are not that large, but you can exclude all of those MM4 tables from the backup and that will keep your Keepa backup smaller and uh, if you're using a different backup tool look for ways to exclude folders as well. So those are some things to keep in mind because of the changes uh, in your web hosting account or things that are created and duplicated and copied and, and exist while you're working on your test migration. Subscribe for more videos. Until the next time, enjoy your Joomla sites and God bless.